Hermit crabs evolved from free-living crabs, and some hermit crab species have evolved back into free-living species, including Alaskan king crabs and porcelain crabs. There are over 500 species of hermit crabs around the world, and they've evolved a unique body shape to fit into their shell homes. Unlike free-living crabs, their abdomens aren't covered in a hard exoskeleton but rather a thin, soft one, their abdomens are also twisted to fit the spiral cavity of the snail shells in which they make their homes. Hermit crabs are pretty easygoing about what they eat, in fact, they'll dine on just about anything they can find in the water that surrounds them, including small fish, invertebrates such as worms, plankton, and any food particles that happen to be floating by. Hermit crabs are also high on the list of desired foods for many predators. Fish such as pricklebacks, gunnels, clingfish and snailfish prey on hermit crabs, as do sea stars, larger crabs, gulls and crows. Hermit crabs live inside a hard outer skin called an exoskeleton. As they grow, they shed, molt, this outer skin and grow a soft outer skeleton that then hardens. They protect themselves by living in shells that are made by other animals, typically snails. As they get bigger, they move from their current shell into a larger one. When they are about to molt, they eat and drink ravenously and dig into their habitat substrate to bury themselves for the molt. Hermit crabs are social, they normally travel in large packs so that when one molts and discards their old shell, another is always molting simultaneously, which helps ensure new shells are always available for molting hermit crabs to move into. As pets, they do best when kept in groups of two or more, molting is a very stressful time, and it can take several weeks for a hermit crab to complete a molt. 
Do not handle your hermit crab when they are molting, and never dig up a buried hermit crab during a molt, as this can kill them.